Hello everyone. This is Dr. Madhushri Chatterjee and welcome to MC Biology classes. In today's video, I will discuss about the fathers of various branches of biology. Very often questions from this particular topic come in competitive exams. So, let's begin. Father of biology. Aristotle is known as father of biology and remember he is also regarded as the father of zoology. Father of microbiology. Now, Anton von Leeuwenhoek is known as the father of microbiology. In most of the books, you will find Louis Pasteur written as the father of microbiology, which is not correct. Because Leeuwenhoek is the person who discovered the wonder world of microbes. Uh, he was the first to observe bacteria in uh, tartar of teeth, even he invented simple microscope as well. Okay, so Anton von Leeuwenhoek is the father of microbiology. Then father of cytology. Robert Hooke is regarded as the father of cytology. Now cytology means the study of cell. Now here comes the first question for my viewers. What is the name of the book that has been authored by Robert Hooke? If you know the answer, write in the comment section. Then father of bacteriology. It's Robert Koch. Robert Koch is also regarded as the father of bacteriological techniques. He invented uh, pure culture and medical microbiology as well. And remember, he also received Nobel Prize. Moving on to the next slide, it's father of plant anatomy and it's gray. Father of medicine. Hippocrates is known as the father of medicine and he was a Greek physician. Father of antibiotic. Alexander Fleming is regarded as the father of antibiotic. Here comes another question from my viewers. Can you name the first antibiotic discovered? If you know the answer, write in the comment section below. Father of botany. Theophrastus is known as father of botany. Father of electrocardiography or ECG is Einthoven. Next is father of taxonomy. You all know the answer father of taxonomy is Carolus Linnaeus. But some interesting facts are associated with this. You know his real name was Carl von Linney. But he changed his name as Carolus Linnaeus on binomial pattern. He gave binomial nomenclature, hierarchical system as well as artificial system of classification. Father of bryology is Hedwig. He is notable for his studies on mosses. Then the next one is father of paleontology and it's Leonardo da Vinci. Please remember very often there is a confusion among the students regarding father of paleontology. See father of paleontology is Leonardo da Vinci whereas father of modern paleontology is QVR. Okay, QVR is a scientist who is regarded as the father of modern paleontology. Then father of gene therapy. Anderson is regarded as the father of gene therapy. Now again another question for my viewers. Do you know gene therapy was first carried out to treat which disease? If you know the answer, write in the comment section. Then father of genetics. Yes, you all know this. This is Gregor Johann Mendel. Then father of biochemical genetics is Archibald Garrod. Archibald Garrod. He reported the inborn error of metabolism. That is the reason why he is regarded as father of biochemical genetics. Then father of modern genetics is Bateson. Father of immunology. Edward Jenner is regarded as the father of immunology. Dear students, do you know why he is regarded as father of immunology? If you know, write in the comment section. Then moving on to the next one, father of DNA fingerprinting. Yes, Alec Jeffrey is regarded as the father of DNA fingerprinting. Now again another question for my viewers. 
who is the indian father of dna fingerprinting please write in the comment section below father of modern anatomy andreas vesalius then father of animal tissue culture is harrison father of blood circulation william harvey here is again another question for my viewers do you know who is known as the father of blood grouping if you know the answer write in the comment section then father of experimental genetics t h morgan is regarded as the father of experimental genetics and he used drosophila or fruit fly as the genetic material okay so moving on to the next father of white revolution it's vargis curian he is a very popular name vargis curian moving on to the next slide it's father of green revolution norman borlaug now he developed dwarf mexican varieties of wheat like uh, sonora 64 larma rojo and he was awarded for nobel prize for peace next father of genetic engineering paul barg is regarded as the father of genetic engineering father of virology is stanley now my question for the students do you know the contribution of stanley if you know the answer write in the comment section below father of modern cytology is carl p swanson then father of plant physiology stephen hales father of chemotherapy is paul arlich again another question for my students do you know the contribution of paul arlich why he is known as father of chemotherapy write in the comment section below father of antiseptic surgery it's joseph lister then father of organ transplantation is alexis carrel father of eugenics is francis galton now do you know what is eugenics it is the science of being well born moving on to the next slide father of epidemiology is john snow now why he is regarded as father of epidemiology yes because of his efforts to determine how the deadly disease cholera was spread then father of polio vaccine is jonas salk and after his name it's known as salk vaccine father of modern microbiology or industrial microbiology or fermentation is louis pasteur it's very important then father of biochemistry is libig now here again another question for my viewers what is the contribution of libig if you know write in the comment section father of indian plant embryology p maheshwari panchanan maheshwari it's very important for your exam what is the contribution of p maheshwari is my question for my viewers then father of haploid genetics is dodge he worked with neurospora and father of modern embryology ernst von baer then father of modern paleontology as i had previously mentioned yes it's george cuvier so this is the end of this lecture video if you find this helpful please like this video and share with your friends and if you have not yet subscribed to this channel please do subscribe it for many more useful videos thank you